this is a reggae land, you know, and yeah. if you want to dance reggae, come on down, you know. <laughs> Walking on the street and hear reggae, reggae starts singing in your mind and all over the place, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> And would you believe I have lost the race again? But I'm coming again because I have got to get The music play a very integral part of the society. It's very, very important to the people in America. Um, everywhere you turn, everywhere you go, there's music systems playing. There's car radios, there's music on the bus. So the music is very, very important to the people in Jamaica. And with that in mind, there's no way that the music can die because the people themselves won't give it a chance to die. You're running and you're running and you're running away, but you can't run away from yourself. Bob Marley said that, you must have done something wrong. You must, you must, you must have done. Bob Marley say that, and it's the truth. Dennis Brown, Gregory Isaac, one of my favorite reggae artists. Yeah. Well, Bob Marley used to be, but he's no more alive. We don't much talk about. We talk about who is the present reggae artist. Now. Music is mainly controlled by the international companies, which are who we call the big boys. Reggae music is a little piece of the pie. You say reggae and you don't think of any other country but Jamaica, and that says it all, because reggae is very strong. It's a very strong medium internationally, and it comes all from here. It's one little country. The artists are now signing with the actual international labels, but the producers in Jamaica retain the production of their product. Because the internationals can't really give you that reggae song. It has to be done by the Jamaican producers. So give some more kick drum and David. Oh girl, my girl, all I have is love. I'm gonna give you all, Lord no. When you own that guy, Huh? Yeah. 
When you hold that guy, when you hold that guy, I surely lose my soul. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Where's the bomb here? Come here. Come. It is an inborn concept, right? It is born between me and towards my living, you know? My lifestyle, you know? I represent John public. Whenever time the public is peace, I'm pleased. So it's my duty to please him, right? Yeah. Live into the presence of the people. Sometimes it's hard to try. It's not all about the marijuana thing and smoke up and that, that compass that is moving forward now. If I should, how much Reggae music keep we the Jamaican alive because even most time you find yourself having a little problem and you hear music play, you rather fight to listen to the music more than give up to the problem. But probably as soon as the music over, the problem arrives back. <laughs> you know? Poetry has been a very strong and positive part of my life. You know, it helps me to voice my opinion without fear and, you know, say the things that I want to say. Dub poetry comes in where rhythm has been put to the poetry, so it becomes a reggae and upbeat thing. But I get a lot of inspiration from the ghetto, where nobody sees ghetto people. They're never really in existence unless one make a big way through. Nine out of ten, it's like an, as an artist entertainer, and they have come become known. People sees them, you know, on TV, such a like. But not even the government seems to really care what happened to these people. My experience here has given me the inspiration to write a poem that I'm about to voice. It's called Rain of Fall. Rain of fall, it was three o'clock. What the canteen as the water a drop? Tip tap, tip tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. tip tap. The water to the floor was like a music galore. Some men listen to the fight in a cool to the light. Till a rat fell to the roof without him head. Blows and scurred them till him dead. Some men know a lizard and cock with red. Them did red. A fight for your spot, cause the water a drop. Tip, tap, tip, 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 tap, tip, tap, tip, tip, tip. Say, oh, me say de, me say de, me say de, oh. Be the light of me, Van Gogh. Ten years back, reggae was more messagic, meaning has more message in it. No, reggae is more commercial, where it has a breakdown. People look at reggae now as just the fun. Then it will be like a soothing message, music. It has influenced people then. Now it's like just for the fun of it. Every time I'm off the street, people always ask me about the woman who I saw yesterday, who looks so good.
people uh, look at reggae music and call it and say it's a job music or it's a rasta music, but it's not. You see, that's the concept. You see, that's the concept that people have abroad. You understand? But we want to change that concept to let them know that's not that's not the way reggae music is all about. I think we can't talk about marijuana and reggae music without talking about Bob Marley. Bob Marley was a noted smoker of ganja. But at the same time, he was also a very prolific singer and songwriter. And many people would want to link his success with the use of ganja. He never ever did that. He always linked his success to hard work, plenty rehearsal, and being very demanding of his musicians and his brethren. Every single song that Bob sang, there's a message, and that message everybody can see it being manifested now. Bob was way ahead. He was truly a prophet. I know there are a lot of negative things people say about reggae artists and reggae musicians, but we just have to get over that because they said the same things about the blues artists, they said the same things about the funk, the soul artists, and they said the same thing about the rock artists. So, you know, we just have to face that reality that the people are going to say that, but that shouldn't stop us from doing what we have to do. Jamaican music is very anti-cocaine, very anti-crack, very anti-heroin, very anti-other drugs, very, very much so, and it comes across in the lyrics. Even though we do know that some of our musicians, like Gregory Isaacs, for example, has been convicted of having cocaine, and many other musicians have been said to, to participate. <laughs> She was running my world in She was a beautiful girl Of love That's why I dream from the heaven Her story tender in my heart In a volcanic way mm. It's Nina, it's Nina Some drugs with another story, and but I ease, you know, I ease now. Took a commercial break, you know, okay. It was very nice, but very dangerous. It was the greatest college I've ever been, but the most expensive school I've ever been. That was Cocaine High School, you know. I learned a lot and lost a lot, a lot of people freedom, you know, and that's the greatest because I sing a lot of songs, sweet, sweet songs, but the greatest song. The song of freedom, you know, yeah, and a lot about publicity and all them things they're saying, but through, through people trying to curb people on their way, right? Me, as a man who live up to the basic principles and the moral art of Rastafari, I know, seen. <laughs> In the 30s, the first Rastas we knew were peaceful, lovely people, and they mingled with the population, and everybody considered them uh, uh, among the gentlest and the nicest people to have in our population groups, because the, 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 the motto for uh, the Rastas was peace. And they used to say, love and peace, brother. The people who, 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 who smoked and, and uh, used ganja and grew ganja decided to start mingling with the Rastas in order to lose their identity among the population and to avoid being uh, 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 troubled by the police. And... Uh, it, w it was at that time that the whole story changed.
No, this is Mount Rastafari. The people love to link it up. I want to have to smoke curves to be Rastafari. What I want to have to do is deal with righteousness. Rastafari is not black poor. Rastafari is not no cult or no religion. Rastafari a life. Christus is our father. The said one of the beginning, manifesting this time in the fullness of his imperial majesty, Aelia Selassie. It's very simple. It is not as crazy as it sounds. It's a very logical theology, okay? It is just as logical to believe that Selassie is God as to believe that uh, Buddha is God or some other person who walked the face of the earth because a theology is based on a belief system and sometimes we scientists question it and might say it is delusional, etc. But it is not by any means the smoking of ganja that makes them believe that. There's no problem of abuse. More time the herbs remind you, you know, and give you space to build your father. You have to pull away and... Yes, herbs is useful, but you have to pull away physically too. Is the, is, the, is the foreigners come and abuse it and take it and put it in their form and talk about kicks and... They want everything quick, you know? And so they look for kicks. They, their idea of time, you know, they wear a watch. They try and capture time and they say, you're killing time. And... They have to put them technology to it. Them turn it, make powder. Them turn abuse it and talk about getting kicks. was performing as an artist singing like North American music and see how other artists get involved in drugs what they have the high they have to be high to get on stage to create what effect and work out to be a wreck towards to themselves and just sit back one at a time and just watch and says no these guys are doing something really bad to themselves and decide to really show one, what's happening with drugs, how bad it can damage you. Probably not outside like this, but it's what goes on inside. Reggae music is all people's music. It's not a matter of Rasta music. That's why when I travel, when, when I'm in Europe, everybody would say, hey, Rasta music is drug music. Rasta music, I mean, reggae music is drug music. Reggae music is, is Rasta music. But that's not the way we look at reggae music. Reggae music is a music for everybody. Them don't like the connection of the music with Rastafari. You know. Them try them best to move it from Rastafari. But Bob Marley being so popular, them not too succeeding. And Bob Marley always say, that is not how is the era, Adja. Bob Marley always insisted. I know what Bob wanted to see was for us to take the music and continue to spread it like it's a gospel all over the world and right now singers are really back in rain and holding strong and we're doing our portion you know but it is 
much of a difference since like 10 years ago. A lot of respect is due to Bob Marley because, you know, Bob Marley was the greatest of all the reggae ambassadors. He was the one that took it all around, so we have to respect Bob Marley. And whosoever like Bob Marley stuff, they're just Bob Marley fans. But us, you know, we have to do our own thing. And at times, we even go back to Bob Marley and take a hint from him, improvise on it, and then we get something new. All right, let's start from this above now. Let me go on with it. New York anymore, more you have to see a Jamaica for sure, sure. And when you're there for a rain, you didn't remember to come home with it. Now you get busted and you get dipped. Then send you back a Jamaica with your broke pocket. That's why me ball. No man come home, me ball. No man come home. Man. No man come home. Man. No man come home, man. No man come home. 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 A DJ adds, I don't think they take the time to sit and put the together enough to deal with it. You understand? And that comes from the market. The market has put them to do that because it has developed recently where you can just stock anything and you make some money. And they go with that, which I think if that's a money making thing for them, go with it. You can't stop it carrying the message. The message of the king. That's how reggae starts, you know. But then a problem occurs. People say, too much ja, ja in the still months. You know? And so them come with them lovey-dovey safi. And all the carnality start creeping in. You see, reggae, reggae wasn't um, in the in the stages, right, when, when the music came about, right, in the early days. It was more a ghetto music than, say, a religious music. The Rastafarian religion sprung from, say, the same source as reggae, which is the ghetto. So the two became intertwined. But it is not that reggae is just for religious expression. Reggae artists know who has locks and just do reggae because it's a fashion, a trend then where reggae artists has locks. So they just do it. Production houses internationally, for example, from Europe, using reggae artists, they would, they, they would have them dread in a while just to, you know, to bring the market up and to keep up with the trend. Most people never go in slavery, you know. And most Africans who live in Africa today, they wasn't in slave. But my true. poor parents was in slavery, and I'll know I am still in slavery. It's true, mm -hmm. my luck. I make sure that I rebel against slavery. That means that they wouldn't take me as a clerk for work in our bank. They wouldn't take me as a clerk for work in, our, in, in, in our the courthouse. You understand? Because me rebel against that kind of system. Well, the Rasta business is just, is just one who create his culture. Right? That's, that's his culture. And um, as far as I'm concerned, everybody have their own way of doing things. I do my thing. I don't do roots music, but I do commercial music. And, you know, you have different people for different, different sector, you know? You have the, 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 the roots people who go for the roots music. You have the commercial people who go for the commercial music. So I'm into the commercial side of it. Boys and girls are men and women of my age. They can't deal with like struggle. They tend to say that it gives you a distress. While people of my age, they like party. So I'll have to sing things to make people feel merry instead of people start thinking, oh, South Africa and the struggling and the starvation, we want a party. We can't think about that. That's what gets you down. Don't waste your time. Got 
I'm smooth, ain't it? I'm real smooth, man. I'm smooth. I see you. Yeah.